Hey Free Game, we are coming to you live, but not live, from some random alley in London. It's not an alley, it's a pathway. Oh yeah, it's not really, yeah. I guess, what, what constitutes the difference between an alley and a pathway? Do you have to have two sides to make it an alley? This is a pathway. It's next, a pathway, apparently. Next to a river. Yeah, we're just having a nice walk out. We're just taking it easy, it's a Sunday. We're easy like Sunday morning. But, oh no. Well, so easy, it's not even morning anymore. No, it's, it's not, not even it? morning, it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. We're taking a walk, we're just going to go quickly to the supermarket. And we're... I'm going to choose some grapes. You say he's going to choose some grapes. We're coming to get one thing, oranges for orange juice. Because what me and Jojo had a really good idea, because it's so hot, it's like proper heat wave. We're trying to think of things to do to cool us down. So we thought we'll get some oranges, juice them, and then make some ice lollies out of them. Great idea, Mum. Yeah, so all day we're just thinking like, what can cool us down? But there is that problem though, that we, we have these good intentions to go to the supermarket, go, let's just get this one thing, and then it gets out of control. He's already planned in grapes, haven't you? Hmm. No, we're gonna stick to, we're gonna stick just to the one oranges. thing. Comment below, who does that? They go to the shops for one thing, and then they come out with like, a haul. A haul. Yeah. <laughs> this is not a haul video. You're getting a little haul. You're not getting the full on haul, you're getting a little snippet of just, us buying oranges, that's hopefully what it's going to be. Although some ideas are coming into my head, I wouldn't mind some berries. Oh, do you know what I want? <laughs> oh God, you're as bad. No, I was thinking like, get some like ice, because we haven't got any ice indoors. Freshly baked bread. Mm -hmm. Avocado. No, 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 ice. Oh, right. You're just going off on your own thing now. Ice? Ice, and we can make smash ice. Right, he's rolling away <laughs> the other way, the complete opposite direction. So yeah, let's get heading on, let's get moving, mummy. So yeah, we're thinking of lots of different things that we can do today, because it's so hot to cool ourselves down. So I think I might like just get two buckets of freezing cold water and like do things like wash the car and stuff like that. I didn't know how that was going to end then when you said two buckets of freezing cold water. One for me, one for Bob, over our heads, job done. But washing a car is a really good thing to do on a hot day, it does cool you down. And it drives the car straight away as well. Comment below, what kind of things do you guys do to cool yourself down when it's a really hot day? Do you do things just to get you wet? Water fights, oh that's a good oh, one. Oh, water fights. Yeah, comment below, we'd love to hear your ideas. There's the scooter, but where's Jojo? We seem to have lost him. Can anyone find out where he is? <laughs> oh, oh, no, oh, he's gone again. Liddles is the place. What? Already? They're oranges, right? No, they're not oranges. Come on. Get going there, you. Oh, it's nice and cool in here, isn't it? No. Should we get some oranges then? Let's get some berries too. I want berries for my porridge. You want berries as well? Mm. Shouldn't we just be heading straight to oranges then? Browser. Jojo so said he wants berries. What did you say? He wants some of that bread. What are you doing looking at the bread? Oh, well, I wasn't. You've come over to the bread. I'm over here. All right, we'll get one. we we'll get the best one. Yeah, get the best one. I think the bread does cool you down, doesn't it? Yeah. Yes. Definitely, that's like top five foods that cool you down hacks. And I think it's number one after ice lollies. It's a delicate operation, be careful. What are you planning? Tomatoes. They seem to be out. Finally, we come to the orange section. At least Jojo's taking it seriously. You, however. And you. Bread monster. You were the one looking at. Cut. What are you looking at now? You're looking at rice snaps? Yeah. Do you reckon those would help cool us down today? I'll get them anyway. <laughs> I asked him if he'd help cool us down and he would just went, I'm still getting them, whatever. But then again, if you add like almond milk or soy milk or some other plant-based milk, it'll cool them down. Cool you down today, yeah? You're getting sold in anything, you, aren't you? What are you looking at now? I'm just looking, I'm not buying them. Hmm, that's how this all starts. I bet these are nice though. Ice crackers. Well, we're never going to know if they are nice if they're left on the shelf, right? Jojo's loading the oranges on first. That's where it should stop, really, shouldn't it? Okay, all done. That's it. That's all we're getting, right? So we got a few more bits, but I think it could have been worse. Lucky I bought extra tote bags, eh? You had this planned all along. No, I didn't. I just know what we're like. <sighs> I plan to get oranges. Sorry but... about her free gang. She's so cheeky. Even I don't see it coming. Right, let's go home and make some nice ice lollies then. And everything else. We are back and I can see prep has already begun. Jojo, mummy, can you tell us what exactly you're doing? Well, Jojo wants to help do the orange juice, but the only thing is he just eats them. So when you say that you're making orange juice, is there actually a better way that you can put it? Jojo? Juicing! <laughs> Exactly. Don't you ever let that happen again, mummy. We got the moulds for our lollies here. So Jojo, we got to juice the oranges. Multitasking, are you? Mm. It's not cheese, it's not banana, but it's juice. Thank you. Here you go. Ooh, juicing. Yeah, I've just put the lollies in the freezer as well. Oh, so they're all ready to go? Well, they'll be ready later. They've got to freeze first. No, no I mean, that's how we... 
Like you just did all that prep very quickly. Yeah. It's quicker for you for a game like that, wasn't it? So you can drink the leftover orange juice if you want. Why did you have to just label it the leftover? I'm going to treat it that the stuff in the freezer is the leftover stuff, and this is the prime chosen juice at the beginning. And you can have the pulp as well. You're spoiling me today. Have every leftover piece of orange that we find. What about you? You um, you gonna go and wash the car? Yeah. You and Jojo doing it? Yeah. Problem is though with cleaning the car when you live in like an apartment building or block of flats is getting water from here down to there. So you're just gonna bucket it again and again. Sometimes I walk down with a bucket. Sometimes I, uh, I put one bucket out the window on the floor and then just pour it from another bucket into that one. You do it really well though. I must, I give you that for 20 foot or so it is down. You do get a lot in there. I think it annoys the neighbors though. Cause like- <laughs> Past their window. <laughs> <laughs> If not, you can ask the neighbours for their hose. I don't want to ask them, I'll just use buckets. Yeah, it's more fun with the buckets. Having a good clean, are we? You're doing good work, mate. Very good lucky. stuff. Is it cooling you down, Jojo? Yeah. Nice breeze out here as well. I know. Good, Jojo. You're getting right stuck in you, aren't you? I don't know if he's spreading dirt more around the car, though, Mark. I think he might be. There's actually moss growing in there. <laughs> That's how long we haven't cleaned it for. Oh, I'm just gonna crack on back upstairs, okay? Crack on with your creativity. Yeah, the World Cup being on and being played at the same time is not interfering. It's just a coincidence, is it? <laughs> There's no such thing as coincidence. All done, are we? Yes, look at my feet. Let me inspect your feet. Did you take it off the car and put it on your feet? No, look at how disgusting my feet are. Oh, I think it's genuinely how dirty the car is. Did you just wipe your feet on the car? I need to have some kind of shower. So while those two are cleaning themselves up, I'm gonna get out some Lego for these guys because they, Mummy and Jojo, have been talking about making, doing some building or a building challenge today, actually. For those of you that watch all our videos, you know that we are big Lego fans and we have an epic system and how we get it out and how we have it all arranged. So check this out. So that's it all set up. Look at that, nice and easy to get to to get all those pieces out. Do you know, we talk about Lego quite a lot and how much we enjoy playing it. But what about you guys? You know, tell me about you. Do you like playing Lego? And also, we've been thinking about some different Lego challenge videos, maybe between me and Jojo, me and Katie, or Katie and Jojo, even Jamie in there as well. Let us know in the comments below, is that something you would like to see? Maybe it might be on this channel, might be on Jojo's channel. In fact, if you don't know about Jojo's channel, he's only got one video, but it is up and running. Go over and subscribe to him. Thank you to those of you who have already gone and subscribed. We're hoping to bring more content to his channel as well. But yeah, go and give him a sub. So you two all cleaned up now and not wasting any time getting into some building. I have changed my leggings, it doesn't look like it, but I was wearing Gymshark leggings, now I'm wearing these ones. Do they get mucky as well? Yes. Quite the mucky puppy, aren't we? Everything got mucky except for my top. So what are we building here then? I'm building a house. Oh wow. It's like my version of a Lego Friends like Heart Lake cottage. <laughs> what are you building Jojo? Um, I, I don't really know. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Wow, you get into so much detail with your builds, don't you? Oh, I've got detail coming too. Calm down, there's no need to react that way. Lacking in detail, lacking in detail. The challenge is heating up. Jojo, tell us what you've got. You've actually decided you know what you're building now. What is it? Secret base, so we've got like a little control panel, if you, if you can see it. Oh, also, yeah. Control panel over the back there, yeah. Also, we got like a camera, a light. So got a little ladder here so you can get up. Yes. And yeah. Maybe need some people. I would have got a person. Oh, they look like they're up to something secret, all right. How are you getting on, Mummy? My Good. goodness, an explosion of colour and detail. Your little dream house. Is that you there, Mummy? Yeah, brush. I've got a Sorry, brush. Sorry, I just knocked over something, didn't yeah, I? Yeah, you did. You, you're ruining my garden. Yeah, that's. I've got a brush in my hand. I've brush, been brushing my hair. Yeah, oh, sort your gosh. hair out. Your barney looks terrible there. You've got your friends around. One yeah. of them's uh, surfing in a pool. Yeah, while eating a nice lolly. As you do. Notice how I did all, like, all this is all glass. So every, anyone in the house can look straight out into the garden but you haven't thought about people who don't realize it's closed and walk into it by accident ah you know the old closed pat patio doors well, hopefully era. they won't do that i'm just working on some furniture for the inside bit I've got an umbrella and a seat but i need to figure out how to build a table to go outside this is a barbecue which jojo actually made for me with some nice vegan sausages on there cool and you got a little dog or a horse outside there yeah there's a horse he's come to see what's going on he's just wandered over from the local forest is that correct yes and you've been helping mummy even though you're against her in a challenge yes 
Okay. Oh, and this is like a beach. This is like a human made like beach. No. Nice. I feel like I need more details. Okay, we'll come back to you in a bit. Later. All right, so you're both finished then? Mm, yeah. Do you want to tell Daddy about your one? And then the free gang can vote which one they think is best. So we got, I've added in a robot as well. So we've got a robot here. It's quite fancy. Okay. Also, we got like the secret base. Secret and base. the camera and everything. Mm. So the robot in the secret base is a robot protecting the secret base. Yeah. It looks like a very, very happy robot. Very, very nice. Over to you, Mummy. I don't know what I'm going to call my one. I think it's like a Heart Lake cottage with a garden and pool beach area. You've taken this very, very seriously, haven't you, Mummy? Yes. Thing is, if you guys think that I've won and mine's the best, then it means Jojo's one as well because he helped me do a lot of the things. He built the table for me. Oh yeah, you've got a nice little table here. He oh wow, just the whole set of food going on as well. Yeah, I like the pink umbrellas instead of the green one. Jojo built this tree for me. We've got a nice lady here feeding the horses a carrot. Ah, uh, those horses, eh? Two more came over as well. She gave in to them. You've got more people here as well. You've got loads of animals. Yeah, I've got cats and dogs here. And there's a, I think that might be a mouse there. I'm not sure what it it's is. A cat. Cat or a mouse, I don't know. Is this person not allowed in? What are they done wrong? No, she's just coming to say hi. Oh, okay, so she's just arriving. And there's a ball in the pool. Yeah, a bit empty in here. Couldn't be no, bothered no, with the furniture. Jojo's already had a go at me, said you need more uh, <laughs> details in your house. He is the authority on this stuff. Well, well done, guys. As I said, free gang, vote below. The house or the secret base with the robot. Which is your favorite? This is deciding the universe. Whoever wins gets to stay in the house tonight. Whoever doesn't win has to sleep on the roof. Anyway, enough of all this Lego malot. Should we clear this all up and get the suitcase out? Because we need to start packing for our oh, fun yes. trip this week. Have you told the free gang yet? I haven't. That we're going on the strangest trip ever. So yes, we're going to get all this tidied up and then we're going to start packing because it's a very interesting trip we're going on. We'll tell you more soon, so stick around. It's a very strange trip. Yeah, it's about as far as we can go. Yeah. Of. But we've got to pack today because we're doing a really, really exciting challenge video tomorrow with Jamie. Yeah, all of us are going to be out the whole day pretty much, aren't we? Yeah, so I've, we've got to pack to, this evening. Let's clear it all up then. Hold on a minute. Can I leave my house together though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unless you say to Jojo. If you leave it out, Jojo will probably start adding to it before you clean up. <laughs> You're up, he'll be fully furnished by the time you put everything away. Mummy, mm. what's that all about? It's like dark yellow and like some sort of beige thing. Oh, because you've got one block, which is not yellow. Oh, I don't know. Mummy, what were I you thinking? Know. To put in horses in the house. What's, what's going on? No. They've got to go somewhere. The horses are taking over. They've got to go somewhere. It's not realistic. There's no way they can walk in. The person on the bike as well. Yes. Oh my Why God. This is getting out of control free again. We've got, we've got to end it here. Oh, mummy, put some food on. Yeah, I thought I'd make a quick dinner. You know when you, you're going away and you just want to use up what you have? That's kind of what I did. I'm just making a nice pot of chili con carne and I just added tomatoes, baked beans, lentils, everything that I have in the cupboard. That looks good and smells good, mummy. Get a whiff of that free gang. There we go. And in here we have some rice. That rice, it looks so nice. The bread, which is left over. Most of it we had for lunch with some avocado, but we're gonna have the rest with dinner. I haven't had any of that bread yet. Is it nice? Not? Well, I don't know, you guys were just making stuff and I didn't get any. You gotta do your own next time. <laughs> well, I got, that's why I got all the pulp, didn't I? I got lo leftover orange stuff. And you were eating bourbons, no? That was leftover as well. There was a crumbs at the bottom of the pack. We're gonna complain, it was all good. It's, but... that, it's what you have to do though, when you're going away, you just have to run all the cupboards down and just eat what you have. Via me. I do like what you've done with this though. This looks very nice and yeah. smells very nice. Very creative. I'll go all the suitcases that all the way. Okay, well, while this is cooking, I'll um, do a bit of packing then. Yeah, I'll get some bits together. Jojo can do his own packing as well. There's your trunky. What are you gonna put in? inside to take on holiday with us. Maybe some pen and paper, some books, some cars, anything I like. Okay, open it up then. We'll get some things. Yeah, let's mm. get ready. Do you want to go and get Harry Potter? Alright. And by the way, we're acting on the Half-Blood Prince. Yes, yes, we finally finished it. For those of you that watch all our videos, you know, for a long time now, we've both been reading the Harry Potter books. We just finished The Order of the Phoenix. It's a huge book, wasn't it? There's a big jump in size between that and the previous one. So which is the one you're on now, again? It's called The Half-Blood Prince, and let's put it into the suitcase. Okay. The trunky. Well, did you want, did you want pens and paper? Yes. Is this Jojo's homeschooling tub? Yeah. Which we sometimes... <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember what this lesson was. 
Do you know why? Oh, do you know? Do you, do you remember why they're in your homeschooling tub? I don't know. Do you remember when Hench Herbivore looked oh, after yeah. you? Right! Yeah. Me and Casey went out for a date night and Jojo was looked after by this huge bodybuilder and we didn't know what was going to happen. Long story short, they trashed the whole hotel room. Yeah. And had lots of fun. He brought all goodies and stuff which we didn't expect either. You can check out that video up in the corner as well. It's a lot of fun. Look, we better uh, put a disclaimer. Here's one of our very, very, very good yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's some <laughs> random person we just found. He looks like a good idea. Those kind of things are still in your box from that night, aren't they? Yeah. I think they'll be going in the bin at this rate. Guess what? What? I would never have guessed that. I'll let that you have them after dinner. Right, do you want to choose five cards to bring? I can't see what I'm bringing. What cards? Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. You're not allowed to see this free game. I'll show you anyway. Okay. <laughs> Apparently you are. So, here are all the cards. We've got the 222 car, the special red and grey car, we got the Hot Wheel car, we also got the Hummer, and also we got the sports car. Drive them into the trunky. Hello, girl. Yep. I'm wondering as well, we should have, we travel so much, a like travel Lego kit. We should have a travel Lego kit. No. A smaller version. No. You know you get Scrabble, the board game, and then you get travel Scrabble. Like a trade one. Not this big, but a trade Free gang say no. No free gang, please. Comment below, should I get what I want or what Jojo needs? Oh, yummy. Dinner. Wow. Oh. Yummy, and I've got, I've got you some bread as well. There's absolutely everything in that chili. Thank you, Mummy. Oh my god, that's a big scoop. It might be a bit hot. Give it a blow. It's full everywhere. Oh, good. <laughs> so good, he's almost trying to land a plane. Ready. There you go. Let me take that, Jojo, for No you. roller coasters at the dinner table. We're going to watch Groundhog Day while we're having our dinner. Yes, Groundhog Day, one of our favourite films. Comment below, Free Gang, if you've seen it or not. And, well, if you haven't seen it, go and watch it, then comment below. Basically, I want uh, the comments to be full of yeses I've seen Groundhog Day. There's a really good message in it, though. It's almost like, no matter how rude, mean, or anything you are, someone is, give them time, they can be a good person. I don't think that's what he's trying to say. I think it's saying, it's trying to say, be a good person. I like my one better. Give people a chance. Right. Time to tuck into food. I'd love to stay and talk, but I want to eat. So dinner is all done and we've begun packing. Now, we're not going to tell you where we're going. In fact, it'd be very hard to even really explain the place we're going to stay. So we want you guys to guess by commenting below where you think we're going to be going. It's not about where we're staying. It's about the accommodation we're staying in. Yes, a specific place we're inhabiting. <laughs> yeah, so comment below. Let us know what you think it could be. I know that's a very open question and you could just guess anything. Then go for it. Guess it. If this yeah. is just an opportunity for you guys to be silly and just put, oh, you're staying inside a potato or whatever, then go for it. It's not a potato, though. It's not a potato. You're, you're staying a potato. You are so weird. But anyway, yeah. so yeah, it's a really, really strange type of accommodation. Proper strange, but fun strange. We're going to take you there with us as well when we go in a couple of days. So do not worry. Sorry for again, you will get to see all of the weirdness. <laughs> How are we getting on with packing them, Mummy? Good. This is Bob and Jojo suitcase. We will be taking the distiller as well. Jamie is actually coming with us for the first part, but yeah. she's bringing her own things. Yeah, so she's coming to stay in the really strange place with us. <laughs> Just keep calling it a really strange place. It is a really strange place. Yeah. I've never stayed in one of these places before. Anyway, so she'd bring her own suitcase. And then we're going on somewhere else in a completely different location, unrelated as well, for a few days. But she won't be with us. She's going elsewhere with some friends. So yeah, but it'll be nice to have her down there with us. Yeah, so the suitcases. This is my little suitcase. And I'm going to try and get all of my stuff in there. This is uh, something we call the pink thing. We've never, like, we've had this for like 10 years. It's probably got a natural name. We've, ne we've only ever called it the pink thing. I like the pink thing. So basically, we keep all of our toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, hairbrushes, everything. We always have this ready. I don't have to worry about packing it because it's always, all the stuff we need for travelling is always in there. Yeah, we just keep it put in there permanently and I think the only thing we have to add is the electric toothbrush. And yeah, it. I think I found it in my mum's loft. <laughs> she doesn't know it's gone. Sorry, Kim. Then we've got Joe there's Trunky, which he always puts his favourite things in there, and his homeschooling box. Those of you who watch all our videos, you know we take that more or less everywhere we go. Yep. Just so we've got all his pens, paper, all of his learning stuff, and those blowy things, they are crucial for learning. 
He would be nothing without those blowy things. Yeah. The um, camera's getting uh, crooked now, so that indicates to me that your arm is getting very tired, Bob. It's late in the day, my arm's tired. <laughs> anyway, should we get finished off packing? Yeah, because there's really important things to pack, like kites yep. and bobs. Put my pa don't put my <laughs> pants on display. Wee. So we're going to be finishing up with our packing. We've been joined by a dragon, which is always helpful when you want to be packing. But before we finish this video, I just want to give some shout outs to some of you lovely free gang who have been requesting them. So shout outs to Tommy Dow, Naomi Denton, Charlie Davis, Man City Mad, Amy Lee Clark, Hannah Parsons, Tracy Beatty, John Abbott, Hannah Zaheer, Jar Hainsworth, Farah is Gorgeous, that's the actual name of the account, Kisses and Curls, Mary Thompson, Karis Ellen Matthews, Kitty Vlogs, and shout out goes to Elsie. That was a request from your sister of the account, World of Vegan Hope. I met you and your sister at the Brighton Festival and yeah, it was lovely to speak to you guys. You were actually playing with Jojo in the uh, bouncy house. Remember yeah. the bouncy house? Yeah. yeah, so big shout out to you, Elsie. Thank you for watching. Thank you for mm -hmm. commenting. And thanks to all you guys for always watching, for always commenting. Leave your comments below on what you think about this video. Remember to guess exactly where you think we might be going. And comment below if you ever want a shout out or if you think we've missed one. We'll try and get them done in the next video or the video after, so leave your comments below. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you want to follow our journey, see where we travel, the fun places we go, we would love it if you subscribed. If you're already subscribed though, hit that notification bell so you kept up to date on when we do upload videos. You don't want to miss out. There's lots of fun ones coming this week. And we will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much. Peace out. Peace out. Bye.